Hello, everybody. This is Kyrix with more Let's Play Harvest Moon Back to Nature. I keep wanting to say blind, but this game is anything but. This is one of those rare cases of me playing a game that I know and love. You know, before my Let's Play. Oh, look at the baby cow. So cute. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. It's less that she's chewing and more that her face is trying to explode, but it's still very endearing. Come here, Kisa! Ah, cuddle, cuddle, cuddle. That's actually very similar to how I am with the actual cat. Just, come here, cuddle, cuddle, cuddle! Ah, uh, there's what completed pineapples look like. Just had to check to see which uh, implement I had out. Wake up and brush Anubis. I was just telling Jay about, uh... How this led to the awkward situation of me brushing my LP partner every day. Brushy, brushy, Anubis! Speaking of which, uh, I, I really should save this announcement for my update video, but uh, in the next day or so, I'm going to have Anubis over and we're going to start LEGO Jurassic World. <laughs> it's kind of easy to tell. I'm excited. You, you can just hear it in my voice. Because I love me some Jurassic Park. I love me some Lego games. I love me some Lego games about Jurassic Park. And it's hard not to. You know, it's, it's Jurassic goddamn Park. What's not to love? Okay. This goes in the rucksack. I am actually going to harvest the corn today. If I had been thinking, and I hadn't, I would have waited on that honey. Why would I wait on that honey? Because I'm going to need that inventory slot in a minute. Anyway, today is the Cow Festival, because it is. Because it's the 20th of summer, and that's when the Cow Festival happens. And as I said, the second corn harvest was going entirely into the water wheel. So that I have all the feed I'm going to need for my chickens. So the second harvest worth of corn is going into the grinder to feed my babies. Tomorrow, the real money from the movie is made. Because tomorrow, pineapples go in the bin. The good news is, because the pineapples are up, I don't need to water them today. I probably will, just out of habit, but I don't need to anymore. It really does upset me that the festival had to be today. I think that was actually intentional on the designer's part so that I can't sneak an extra fucking harvest in there. That being said, if I had uh, busted my ass and gotten everything to the point where I could upgrade it already, I would have had that harvest. Like, next year, that won't be a thing, and not just because of the hothouse. Because you better bet your ass I'll have a hothouse next year. Oh, good. Now, let's take a look at my chicken feed. Oh, yeah, 417. That's probably enough for the year. That's at least an entire season's worth of chicken feed. For the upgraded chickens. Meaning, once I get all 10, that's enough to feed all of them for an entire season. Chickens are very easy to keep up on. Can't forget to water my lawn, now that I have one. I 
we will actually make it in time to do the cow farm, or the cow festival rather, but I do want to get these crops taken care of first. I'm still upset that my plan was thwarted. My plan, of course, being to uh, get the money to upgrade everything by today. You know? Which, ironically, I would have all the money and then some to get everything upgraded today. But, holiday, so I can't really do anything with that money. But I do want to have the wood by today. Yeah, now that my money is starting to fall into place, I really do need to start harvesting wood every day. Except when I uh, am waiting three days to get my axe upgraded again. Because we're getting close to that, to when I'm going to need the axe upgraded. Again, the magic number is 420. Don't laugh. And uh, we are at 320-ish. Or 375, rather. Yeah, we're going to have that today. I know it seems like I'm running out the clock, but... We're almost there. See, while I wouldn't have time to chop the wood before the festival ends, I do have time to get the grass, especially since the grass is on the way. Because this festival does not take place in the square, it takes place on Yodel Farm. Which is Barley's Ranch. God, I love this game so much. Again, you can... Seriously, the most stressed you'll see me probably in this game is like today when, oh god, my pineapples are in, but I can't do anything with them. You know? This is not a game where stress happens. Not real stress. Not like Tomb Raider. Cows are fantastic animals. I believe it. It's part of your job. Indirectly. That's kind of sad, really, it is. Yes. Yes, you would. I like milk. Milk is yummy. And milk is filling, which is kind of strange. He looks so depressed about that, this cow would kick my ass. They probably are. The one that I don't have yet. They have. I do wonder where these other three cows come from, because nobody else in this game raises cows except Barley. No one has the room for it. You know? To be fair, Barley doesn't really have the room for it either. <laughs> oh, Stu is adorable. You'd be better off getting a horse or an ox for that. I don't think cows are trainable that well for that kind of thing. God, I love that facial expression. It's so cute. It's that half pouch she's got. 
That's a strange dream, but run with it. Yes, that's uh, that's a thing he's telling you that uh, the the strategy guide calls it grand, but it's fucking golden. It comes out golden. And yes, cows tend to be gentle until you stampede them. Find yourself a new date there, Rick. And Basil too, apparently. Quit romancing the damn livestock, boys. There are plenty of beautiful women in this town you can choose from. You don't have to go for the moomoos. <laughs> God, this game is weird sometimes. Yeah, the wood requirements for stuff in this game get pretty ridiculous later on. Matter of fact, it really is the wood and not the money that restricts you from getting too many upgrades too fast. Because, as you'll see tomorrow, money is not an object in this game. It really fucking isn't. Especially since I think I might have tomatoes coming back in tomorrow on top of the pineapples. The pineapples all by themselves are more than enough to account for all the money I need. The fact that I'm throwing in any other crop on top of that, plus the shit I gathered today, its it really is just overkill. But it's my kind of overkill! Am I really already that worn out? I guess it makes sense. Check some here. Nope, not quite there yet. Okay, it's time for the hot springs. Because uh, we are not going to bed without chopping this damn wood. All of this wood. Sad thing is I'm trying to think of what else I can do for power berries at this point in the game, and I'm coming up short. Short of digging up my entire field to find them. There really isn't a whole lot I can do right now. And likewise, going nuts in the mine, they're just, I'm going to have to wait. Anyway, according to my cheat sheet calendar, there's nothing special going on tomorrow aside from a massive financial reaping as I harvest everything. Actually, I might... do I? Yeah, I have the money to get the chicken coop started tomorrow anyway, so that's good. That's right, it was just the wood I was lacking, and I could get that today. Okay, I feel better now. Not significantly better, but better. Anyway, I actually made a purchase today for the benefit of my recordings. A second PlayStation 3. This one for my roommate. Because it really isn't fair that I have all of these game systems in here and I play them only by myself and they don't get anything. So I did take it out there, but on the other hand, I need it for my work. And now that I'm settled into recording Harvest Moon, I've been doing this daily for hours at a time, like I'm supposed to. It just, I can't just, well, you can have it for an hour. Now I need it for this week in Kyrix and Harvest Moon. And it just, yeah. So now he has one out there. He's still playing all my games. Or at least my physical games. But it uh, gives him something to do. Now I just hope he's still motivated to get a job because we gotta pay for all this shit. Right now, thanks to Fingerhut, we have three laptops and two PlayStation 3s. Although mine came from Rena Center. But still, that's five big time things that both use power and internet. And I would like for him to get a job so that we can continue to have those things. Power and internet. Mm. 
Okay, brushy, brushy. Hopefully I'm not too exhausted to get the day done. Sleep without a diary entry. Yeah. Well, the good news is, even if something horrible happens tomorrow, at least the only thing horrible happen tomorrow, the, um... We're going to get an entire pineapple harvest, so no hurricanes to rip up our crops yet. Um, you will be... Karen. Yes, yes it is. So yeah, we haven't had a hurricane yet. That's not to say that every summer you get a hurricane and every winter you get a blizzard. Just, you do a lot. And here's more fairy and me. that away. There we go. There's Kobe being made happy. Now, here's my pineapples. And this. Nope, no tomatoes, no onions. Definitely no corn, because we got that yesterday. Yeah, I need to do some weeding. Badly. Badly need to weed, man. And now that there are two of them, I feed them twice. Puri and Karen. Woodcutter's farm, not farm, but cottage opens for business in like nine, ten, something like that. For the record, that's four thousand gold I just tossed in here. Looks like my math was off or something. Or maybe I was going off multiple things. Because each one of these is like 500, so... So yeah, pineapples are time-consuming and very, very vulnerable to hurricanes. But you're going to see, with your very own eyes, just what a big deal they are. Because I know I have been talking up pineapples this entire LP, even as early as spring. I was talking about, oh god, when summer happens and I get my pineapples in. You're about to see why I make such a big deal about pineapples. Okay. Let me just see some here. <sighs> now let's take care of Phoebe real quick. There she is. Brushy, brushy. Anubis. Okay, here's 
use this. Now we're going to go and talk to the woodcutter. Because this is important. God, my, my yard looks horrible. Ate it. Ate it so much. Well, what can you do? Yep, that's the sound of him going in. I timed this correctly. Please be working today. Perfect. It is okay. Three days for it to be done. And that's that out of the way. Now I can get on with the business of getting things on. I'm actually kind of glad that none of the other things came in so that I can showcase pretty much just what pineapples do. You know? Tomorrow I'm going to have to get shears because I think they're too much for me right now. Now, on the note of hurricanes again, because this will come up, um, the only structure hurricanes can destroy is your hothouse, so you don't need to worry about, oh no, my chicken coop, my barn, my two stages of house. No, those are fine. Those will always be fine. Once you get them, they are permanent. They last forever. It's only the hothouse that breaks, and that can actually be a blessing in disguise depending on how much money you've made off it. Because by that point, that might be literally the only thing to spend money on. Once you get a hothouse, especially if you use it to grow pineapples, you will never have a loss again. Because pineapples are so stupidly lucrative. I mean, if real life was reflected by Harvest Moon... It would be a wonder that anyone grows crops that aren't pineapples, just because of how much money pineapples make. Oh good, I don't ever have to water that ever again. It's nowhere near ready, but at least I'm done watering it. watering can at least, before I forget. You know what, we're gonna swap these two around. Weeds are a strange thing. They'll grow in patches in plots that you plan to use, but that pink cat pink cat flower thing, that'll probably stay until fall, without the weeds ever touching. So, yeah, thanks. Now, just as a reminder, 450, with a loss of 2140, 
fuck poverty. I'm a pineapple farmer. Fuck poverty right in the neck. Again, that's just four blocks of pineapples. Keep in mind, I could have had anywhere from eight to twelve of those if I'd funneled my money in the springtime in that direction. So, realize just how much more money I could have if I had been so inclined as to break the game this early. And to be perfectly honest, buying pineapples at all, even one plot of it, is kind of stupid. In a good way, though. Because, Jesus, look at this money. Look at it all. At 16000 just off the freaking pineapples. The rest of that is just random stuff I cluttered about with. 16000 just that one pineapple plot is almost by itself enough to pay for the, the hen house upgrade. Just roll that around in your mind and realize that uh, I'm going to get one to two more harvests off this bitch. So that's important to note as well. Yeah. And if you have a hothouse and you're getting those every five days, the thing with the pineapples is the only thing that keeps them in check is the fact that they only grow in summer and it takes 20 days to first come in. Whereas if you have a hothouse, yeah, that 20 days is a bitch. But depending on what season that is, you're guaranteed good weather. Like if you do that in autumn, for example. Or in springtime when there's no weather to tear down your hothouse. And then you just plant pineapples and let them grow in. And then you've got an entire season of just pineapples every five days. And by the time you have the hothouse, you have the, um, the fridge as well. So you're going to store any pineapples you don't want to sell in your fridge. Oh no, it's the cow festival. Let me just toss them all in the fucking fridge. You know? And again, if I had properly applied myself, I would probably have the house by now. I usually do. I just haven't been applying myself the way I usually have because I want to keep these videos shorter than they have been. I want to keep them down to the space of about an hour rather than the two-hour monstrosity that was episode one. Now, there weren't any over here, right? Yeah, that is not a choppable stump. Perfect. Okay, so what's on the agenda tomorrow? Tomorrow I get the clippers for the sheep. Anything else? No, I think that covers it. Tomorrow I get some clippers. And my axe isn't ready, right? Axe is not ready. I could be wrong, but I think it's easiest to level up at low levels. For example, I think that if I had kept this a normal axe and was doing this kind of work, I would be getting a lot further with it than as a silver axe, you know? But I could be completely wrong on that, too. Then again, it might also be that I'm no longer swinging it as many times as with the copper axe or the iron axe. That's entirely possible as well. Again, the 22nd, nothing special. It's 
we get nothing special. No uh, crops in yet, but I haven't seen the corn. Don't think the corn's ready to come in yet. Maybe tomorrow. But, hey, I've made a career out of being wrong. I call it Kyrix's Let's Play channel. <laughs> I just wish it was a paying career, because I could really use the money. Oh, well, we can't all be pineapple farmers, right? I'll be back for you. Just shave your ass bald. See how you like it. Sad thing is, she's gonna like it. You know what? I can afford my cow now as well. So that's a thing. So yeah, summer is the time to start stockpiling shit. Oh, there we go. There's the pink cat flowers. Getting, uh, greased up. Greased up? What the fuck? You know what I mean. <sighs> yeah, I don't think this actually does anything for them, the, uh, the picking up. Still gonna do it, at least for now. That might be something that I did in Friends in Mineral Town, because I know in Friends in Mineral Town they can be uh, charmed by picking them up a lot. off to go to work at my farm. Starts his day a little later than us, but he's no less hard working because he'll be out there all freaking day. So yay us. Personally, I think the expanded chicken coop looks a little silly because chicken coops don't need to be that large, you know? Matter of fact, let's face facts, from what I've seen of chicken coops, the one I have is more than enough to hold, like, 10-15 chickens. Easy. He's literally gonna build a chicken coop the size of my freaking house. For 10 chickens. Roll around on your head for a minute. 10 chickens per chicken coop the size of my house. I have fucking elitist chickens. Yeah, I'm not gonna share space with dirty commoners. We're the Fukuri Dynasty. <laughs> they will be too. At least unless Rick comes in and does his event. Because Rick will come in with an event. Which, by the way, is another way to get free chickens. Where he will come in and basically say, Oh, my mother's really sick and I need to take over more than usual. I can't take care of all our chickens. Would you do me a huge favor and take care of all of our... Well, not all, but some of our chickens. I'll bring them over tomorrow. And he brings over five of his chickens. He's like, oh, you can keep the eggs and the money and all that, and I'll give you some extra feed for the chickens. So it's another good way of setting up your chickens. Like, for example, if you uh, don't have any hens and you get the, ch the chicken upgrade, which you need to get. This is a required upgrade to do anything, really. I mean, if you so much as want to get married, you have to upgrade the hen house, because it's the first upgrade. And that, the hen house upgrade is a good one. It just I just wish it was the second upgrade. Now, to me, the worthless one is the barn upgrade, because who the fuck needs 20 cows and sheep? I don't. I mean, I'll have them, but I don't need them. You've got things I need, Sabara. You can sell me some tools, please. Oh god, those are expensive. Not prohibitively so, but annoyingly so. 
Gonna need those too. Thank you. I really could have waited on the milker, but why come back later, you know? Now, before I name this cow, I want to point out that all of my cows and sheep will be named after Let's Players. In, in no way of flex, in, in, in no way re reflex my opinion of you if you're a cow instead of a sheep. I'm just gonna have more cows than sheep, period. You know. That being said, I will. This is gonna be Star, who has been XX Baby Girl Star and Supernova Star, and probably another one as well. And, uh, Star was notable as being the first YouTuber to ever reach out to me for any kind of collaborative style projects. Without Star, I wouldn't know anybody. So, Star is very important as far as my Let's Play career goes. And then Enrique Rikazi will be my next cow. Henri is notable in that that first uh, challenge, the I think it was the Ruby Sapphire randomizer run that I did. The um, no, it wasn't a randomizer. It was the uh, the one Pokemon challenge, basically, where you only get one Pokemon and you got to run through the whole game with it. Henri was the one person who I followed constantly, because I, I tried to follow everyone, but Henri was one of the few people who stayed in it, and I left comments on his videos, and he left comments online, and we struck up conversations, and uh, we just kind of got along well. We hung out online, etc. I've been in several of his videos. I think he's been in a couple of mine. So, Henri and I do all sorts of stuff together. So, Henri is another one of those big names for me in Let's Play. Oh my god, I have to name one of the cows this. It'll come up later, but it, it's so appropriate, it's not even funny. Yep, sorry, Fee, you're naked. Try it, Internet. You now know what Fee looks like naked. <laughs> I'm gonna get smacked for that so badly. <laughs> But yeah, I, I forgot that sheep can, in fact, be sheared straight off the bat. But the cows, when I said about not needing this milker yet, I won't need this milker for a while, because it takes cows a long time to mature. So yeah, my farm is currently full up with people that are relevant to my Let's Play career. And again, it is my stated intention to have this whole thing max before the end of the season. The uh, house, not the house, but I mean get the, uh, at least get the house upgrade started before the season ends. Not sure that'll happen, but I'm going to try for it. Up oh, there's Karen, looking at the squirrel. We're gonna do a thing. No, I guess we're not gonna do a thing. Oops, give me that. Different people have different reactions to different animals. It's about all the animals do is they, they color people's reactions like, oh my god, that's cute, or eek, get away from me. That kind of stuff. But in later Harvest Moon games, like Magical Melody, for example, each of the animals, there's like 10 or 12 of them, and some of them are seasonal, 
will uh, come to you. They uh, have their own affection meters. You can feed them to make them like you more. And uh, once you get them up to like four hearts, there's actually a cute little event where they come visit you at your house. And I say it's a cute little event because it's, it's freaking adorable. It really is. And I do kind of like how everything has its own music. Oh, I guess he only works until about 3.34. Oh well. Not everyone needs to work all day, you know? Ninety-nine wood already? Well, since I've got nothing to do but sit here and wait, let's see what the next upgrade's amount is. The next upgrade requires... Huh! Only 370. I can do that. And just under 5,000 gold. Like 4,700 or something like that. But it's, uh, it's relatively easy. I can actually pull this off. You know? And again, talk about the hothouse. By the time you can afford the hothouse, you will... Or, or let me put it this way. By the time you can lose the hothouse, you can replace the hothouse effortlessly. Because it's more than made its money back, either with pineapples or whatever you put in there. And with you chopping wood every day, by that point you should have the Mistral Axe. Because you, you will have just been cutting enough wood that you would have it. You know? So replacing... It is literally a case of going to the woodcutter and then waiting three days and getting your new hothouse. It's barely even an inconvenience at that point. Anyway, tomorrow is a special day. Tomorrow is Kai's birthday. And while Kai does love corn, he also apparently likes flour. So it's literally just going to be another Harvest Bright birthday for him. Which I'm totally cool with. Fortunately, his birthday is tomorrow and not today, so I can actually afford to wrap his present. It's a very good thing that Kai's birthday is in the summer, because he won't be here any other season, so... Oh, that actually works out perfectly. Um, after Kai's birthday, we have one of the weird pseudo-holidays, in that, uh... I don't think the holiday itself doesn't work. What I mean is, I don't think it prevents you from selling crops. But it's also a holiday kind of thing, you know? It's one of those weird ones. And I have mentioned the weird holidays where they uh, still do things, etc. Yeah, I watered everything. Good. Check the mail, nothing came in. Oh, there we go. Already got them. Thank you, though. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, next day of the week. Middle of the week. It's Wednesday, time to record an episode of This Week in Kyrex that you won't put on the internet for three fucking weeks. I'm so bad about that. And of course, sunny weather because we got a holiday coming up. Do, 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 do. Today is Kai's birthday. Up oh, there's the tomatoes. No onions yet. That's okay. That's fine. It's cool. 
don't need him yet. Just double checking, because I don't want to hit him with a hammer. It's bad enough that he went out that one day on the rain and got pissed off at me. Speaking of which, hearts. Ooh, doing good, doing good. Papuri's doing good, nothing there. Fee's up to one. Harvest Sprites are surprisingly not pissed at me for reasons. Speaking of which, uh, I haven't shown it off. This is the woodshed. As long as the wood isn't broken, you can take it out, put it back in, etc. And there are uses for wood besides the um, upgrades. Not many uses, mind you. But there are uses for them. Incidentally, I could totally see Omri making that face. Like, just happy cow face, you know? You know, th this whole naming the Let's Players, or naming the cows after my Let's Play friends, just got creepy when I realized how many of my friends I'm now required to milk. Oh god, this is really fucked up, and it's getting worse. Anyway, again, my stated goal is to have enough to get the uh, next house or the first house upgrade before the start of fall. Preferably be in that house before fall. Now we take care of the girls, the other girls rather. You know, I was about to say the sheep are the only animals in the game besides, say, the horse and the dog that are explicitly not stated to be a gender, but then the sheep can get pregnant, so they're obviously females. By the way, I want to point out, see how the chickens are we're doing that little march to the uh, right, or to the left? That's really cute until you get ten of them doing it in unison. Then it gets fucking creepy when they're... Your, your chickens are, for lack of a better word, goose-stepping in formation. <laughs> really sinister, really fast. Okay, now what do I gotta do? Now I water stuff. You know, actually, now that I think about it, it kind of makes sense that, uh, that Kai would like flour, because he does own a snack restaurant, you know? I don't think he uses flour in any of his ingredients, but that doesn't mean he doesn't like to cook. important work done before we go visit Kai with his birthday present. Because harvests wait for no mere birthday. It's not even like he's a romance option, you know I mean? If it were one of the girls, I might consider taking a break. It, it's Kai. Nothing against Kai. I like Kai. I've stated that, but you know, not worth losing money over. Sorry, buddy, your friendship doesn't mean quite that much to me. Ironically, you cannot really sell cooked items. Which is sad, because... Just is.
Oh, whoops. Kind of overshot it there. Anyway, I am naturally going to take advantage of the fact that summer's almost over, but this is still the best time to romance the furry. So we are going to try and do a flower run today as well. We're going to do that first, in fact. And then on the way out, we'll get Kai's present and we'll come back here, water our crops and do the other last minute things I need to get the farm ready for whatever it is I'm getting ready for. Just want to check my money. Yeah, it's not bad. With any luck, well, no, I was about to say, with any luck, I'll be able to get the uh, the house upgrade by the time the chicken coop finishes. Not unless the pineapples come in again, and they won't. Not in time. Because I'd have to buy the lumber. But that's okay. Before the end of the season, I will have the new, the, the new house. And when you get right down to it, that's the thing that matters. Admittedly, getting two cows right off the bat is probably overkill, but I'm doing it anyway. And even though I'm going to enter Fee in the first year, I do not think she's going to have the hearts required to win. So. I don't think Fee is going to win my sheep contest. I think it honestly takes most of the year to get them high enough to do that. Apparently that was an inferior flower, not worth not worthy of a gift for Cory. So away it goes. It's blasphemous flower. The blasphemy bloom. I like that name. That's a thing, blasphemy bloom. <laughs> it's a false pig cat flower, it's actually lilac. I'm getting a little nervous about the clock here. But then I realize that I should have enough time to get everything and get back. And if I miss a birthday, then I miss a fucking birthday. You know, it just happens. Thankfully, Papuri is as predictable as ever. Probably should have saved the flower run for another day. Ah, orange flower. Or not orange flower, orange heart. I love that cute pouty look. I really do. She's just adorable. She's like a human plush toy, not one of the dirty ones. Okay, we're gonna hurry up and get Kai's present. And then immediately run home, and then try and catch his ass. Because there's no other way I'm gonna do this, unless he happens to miraculously be at the store. I love how I outran those two, by the way. They were both ahead of me, and then I got here. Yes, it is. It is good for bacon sweets. Note to self, in addition to my many, many expenditures, 
I really have to get a basket this season as well, because in fall that's going to be a thing, because they all come in at once. It's just ridiculous. I mean, you, you will have days when literally every single one of your crop plots is coming up at the exact same time. And you have to harvest your entire field, however big that is. Because there's just so much crossover between your autumn crops. And I'm not particularly worried about the cost of that, because the next pineapple crop cover that and so much more. You know, it'll cover the house, it'll cover my basket, and it'll cover the fall seeds. All of which are important milestones in the game, really. I don't think I even watered my crops today, but I'm gonna. Alright, is Kai still out and about? Pretty sure the Seaside Lodge is closed today. Or closed now, rather. Yeah, I think he goes outside. So I'm gonna check the inn for him. And if that isn't it, then he just doesn't get his present today. Like I said, it's not worth losing money over. I almost certainly could have gotten him if I had uh, not, if I had gone to the beach instead of doing uh, my money, but yeah, look at my money now. That was, that was worth a lot more to me than Kai's friendship. That's right, I can place a dollar amount on friendship. Apparently it's two grand. <laughs> There's Anne in Gray's room. There's Cliff. Here's their fat kitty cat. Ha! Damn you, Kai. Your present is forfeit. Yeah, I just pissed away $150. Yeah, it happens. It's not that a piece of red grass and a jar of honey won't fix or replace. I should actually get a second pineapple harvest this week unless something goes cataclysmically wrong. Which, let's face facts, is perfectly possible to happen. Did I water everything already? Holy shit, I did. Well, no, I watered the pineapples. Why didn't I water anything else? Because I only did half the field, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. I did half the field, then I harvested, and then I stopped better than I thought. I don't have as much work as I thought I did. Again, note the time saving of this golden watering can. And realize how much more work I would have to do and how much less I would be able to handle by myself if I had not upgraded this when I did. By the way, in year two, all bets are off. I will pineapple the shit out of this field. I will raise pineapples to the exclusion of all else. I probably will. I, I will probably flood this damn field with just pineapples. Just because I can at that point. Do the ones up on Mother Hill real quick, and then we'll do the five and go to bed. Again, sorry that these videos are getting longer, but this time around, there's just more shit that I have to do, you know? I gotta start prepping for the end game, which is really silly considering I'm still in the first year and I have two more to go. Let me rephrase that. I'm still in the first, or the second season of the first year. I'm halfway through the first year. I'm like 
one sixth of the way through the game and I'm prepping for the end game. When I know some people say you can never start too soon, but damn it, I'm starting too soon. Why am I going that way? That was me pressing exactly the wrong buttons. I think the kicker for holidays where you don't get your uh, money are the ones that anyone that starts after five, you get money for, I think, basically, except New Year's or something like that. I don't know. It's There are a couple that last all night where once you're done, it goes the next day, and it, tomorrow is an example of that. X is getting close, also. Wood? Wood's good. Not good enough, but good. Now let's hope I don't oversleep. I should be fine. I know it's late, but I'm, I'm going in with almost full stamina. Again, by the time I get the golden axe, I should not need the hot spring anymore, because I'll be swinging basically one time less for every single one of those tree stumps, so I'm saving like nine swings. All right, and on into Thursday. And no oversleeping. Good. And sunshiny weather. Perfect. Tell me about it. Um, also, the fireworks festival is tonight. So, today we have a side mission. We need to go find a girl. And I'm a little torn on this. On the one hand, I have been actively romancing Popuri. On the other hand, Ellie's cute. You know? By the way, this uh, game has actually incorporated both the Japanese and American Valentine's Day traditions. And I only know the Japanese one because of Lucky Star. But uh, apparently, in Japan, girls give guys candy. You know? And the girls actually make a point, specifically Konata's like, Do you know that apparently in America... Or no, I think it's Miyuki says something like, In America, I hear the men give the women chocolate. And Konata's like, Oh, I'd love to go there and get so much candy. Of course, it's also implied in the series that uh, the cookies and candy and all that shit that they give are also homemade. So, there's another one. And again, those cows, not ready to be milked. Not gonna happen. Yes, I'm embellishing the background music, leave me alone. Speaking of embellishing, how are my grass seeds done? I haven't checked on them since they first sprouted. 
I actually forgot for a minute that I even had grass. Nope, not ready yet. Wrong color. Grass is another one of those things where until you've seen what it looks like, it's easy to think, oh, it's ready. No. There's a specific color it turns, kind of a brownish color, to let you know that it's ready to be reaped. Again, not overly concerned with it, because I'll have plenty of time and plenty of money to get all the fodder I need for the girls. Plus, I don't have many right now, so they're not going through it as fast as they will later in the game. Later in the game, it becomes vital to have grass growing, because otherwise you just will not keep up with the livestock that you're expected to have. Speaking of expectations, my percentage right now was 6 last time I checked. 12%, I freaking doubled it. I have doubled my percentage of this game's completion. That's pretty good, actually. You know what? Let's buck the trend. Instead of Ellie or Papuri, let's ask Karen to the fireworks festival first. Kyrix, why would you ask Karen? Fill it in yourself. Karen is... That's right, hot. Plus, as I've stated countless times in this LP, I just like Karen's personality. I really do. To be fair, I like most of the girls' personalities in here. Although I could easily see Papuri getting very annoying in person. I haven't shipped many corn, so I should actually ship these today. Yeah, I'm gonna ship these corn. I should have one more harvest before the end of the year. And again, I want to get to the point where I'm shipping a hundred of each crop. So that I can get these special seeds and show those off. So I'll ship all of these, and then I will ship what I need to get me over the 100 mark, and then the rest becomes chicken feed. She is inside. Let me in. What? Did I have to ask them the night before, or do I just show up there? Oh no, I remember now. I remember now. You don't ask them in person, you go to the beach and ask them there. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Well, I guess we're not doing a flower run today, are we? Okay, um... I think I did all my watering. Oh, need to ship the corn. That's right, so much corn. And since it's a holiday, I don't know if he's working today. Yeah, I think he actually does postpone his work on the holiday. He's got a worse work ethic than the Harvest Brights. So he will resume that tomorrow, I believe. Baby chicks are very cute. They just kind of sit there and chirp and peep, and they're adorable. Let's be honest, there's a very good chance that's what popcorn chicken is made out of, which should make me sad, but it doesn't. See, here's the thing. There are people who are traumatized by the fact that, oh, these things become food, etc. I take a very pragmatic approach to things. 
without humans to disrupt the cycle, every animal is pretty much eventually eaten by something. You know? Like, for example, my former cat, Riddles, was taken out of that cycle because when she died, I had her cremated. If I had had her buried, then she would have been eaten by all manner of things. The reason I didn't have her buried is because there was no guarantee that I wouldn't ever move out of the place that she died. You know? Where I would either have to go visit her on a plot of land or have her in my backyard, etc. And it would have been heartbreaking, for example, if I had buried her in the yard, because I did move from there, to have had to either exhume her body and see what became of her, which would have just absolutely hurt me unless I buried her in something, which still would have stirred up a lot of memories and would have smelled horrible. Or just leave her there, you know? Keep in mind, this is a cat that I had for a sizable portion of my childhood. This was my baby, just like Kisa is now. The difference between Riddles and Kisa is the fact that while Kisa's my baby, Riddles and I grew up together. You know? Because I had her when she was a kitten and I was a kid. And I get the feeling I'm that I grossly misjudged whether or not today is a shipping day because I can't get anything anywhere. And I may have just wasted all that corn. Which sucks because corn is literally the only crop that I can harvest and not waste. Because it can just go right into the chicken grinder. There's that word again. But, yeah, or if I had buried her at a plot, if I moved out of Florida and went to, say, Colorado, just to pick a state out of the top of my head, then to see my cat, I would have had to drive down to Florida to visit her on the day after New Year's at that. That's when she died. But uh, that's a little much, especially considering I now have her in a little, a very charming little box for her remains. Which also includes such items as the collar she wore, and the last toy that she had, which was this little, little toy mouse on a string. Check one thing real quick. Well, two things. Fireworks Festival. And the actual house itself. I'm trying to decide whether or not it's worth it to delay long enough to get those wood. 370. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Let's see if he comes or not. He probably will. Nope, not today. Yup, that corn went completely to fucking waste. But anyway, back to what I was saying about taking animals out of the cycle of uh, the food web, so to speak, is the fact that the very pragmatic and mildly selfish point of view is the fact that something is eventually going to eat that chicken. Why not me, you know? And I do actually draw a line with domesticated animals. I wouldn't want to eat a dog or a cat or a hamster, you know? And yes, chickens can be domesticated, but chickens are fucking delicious. I'm sorry. And yes, it's a little, uh, Okay, it's very hypocritical of me, and I acknowledge that. But here's another thing, is the fact that when we domesticate an animal, be it for companionship or for food, we drastically increase that species' range. 
because apparently the chickens that grow in nature are not anywhere near as prolific as, say, the the food chicken. No. That being said, I do agree that, that chickens that live to be eaten should be taken care of, you know? Just because you're eating it doesn't mean you need to fucking torture it, or that it needs to live in a cramped cage, or be force-fed, etc. But recognize the fact that, again, unless you cremate the remains, and no, botched cooking doesn't count, all things on this planet are food for something else. It's just a fact. Unless they're so toxic that another animal can't eat them. But then again, keep in mind, bacteria are also a thing. You know? So everything eats everything else at some point. Or rather, everything gets eaten by something at some point. I also know, for example, that were these chickens to be truly wild and not just free-range on the farm kind of thing looked after, all sorts of shit would eat them, you know? Fireworks Festival, did I miss it? I missed it. I completely fucking botched this whole thing. Oh well, next year. Not like I had anyone to watch it with anyway. Damn it. Uh, botched another festival. Man, today was just a shitty day. Wasted a fuck ton of corn. Missed my chance for a festival. You know, if it weren't for the fact that I put so much work into this already... I would seriously hit the reset button and do this all again. A little bit of corn and a single date are not worth it. The funny thing is next year I'm actually seeing the fireworks with Kai. Because there's an event where he gets into a fight and goes elsewhere. And you can watch the, the fireworks with him and be his friend. So yeah, the wood really wasn't worth it, but I, I made it worth it. Two more chops worth, and I will have uh, the stuff I need. Just glad the pineapples didn't give in today. That I'd have been pissed. I would have reset the game over pineapples. Corn, not so much. And let's face the facts. The corn did at least get counted, right? Wow, I'm backtracking in the wrong direction. Yeah, the corn was at least counted. So, I've got that going for me, at least. So, even though the corn went to waste, it did get counted on my counter. And... 100, 800... 2,400, yeah. I will literally make up all of that corn with, like, a single chunk of pineapples. I really will. One patch of pineapples is enough to make up for the loss of every last bit of that corn. I think 8, 16, 32. No, I need to basically get into two patches of that and I'll make up for it. No, one, because it's 4,000. This one, just because I'm mean to her every other time, this one will be Mary. Mary will be my third born chick. Yes, the name is okay. It has gotten larger. And that's just a thing you're gonna have to deal with. Yeah. Still the same old house, though. Oh, good. Rain.
Show me. Oh, no, he's in his costume. I'd say, show him your hand. It didn't just cause you great pain. It fucking shredded your hand. Today should be my onions. Unless I completely lost track of time, and I probably did. Yep, totally dead. They're not ready yet. That makes me sad. Kinda hoping for my onions. Oh well, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, you may have noticed a trend in this LP is me being consistently wrong about what crops are ready. So nothing to harvest today because I wasted all of that fucking corn. Again, these cows look plenty large. They're nowhere near. These things are microscopic compared to what they're going to grow into. The Sheep Festival, to go off on a tangent, is probably the most annoying festival in the game because sheep are not like the cows. A cow is ready any day. You know, any day of the week. Every day of the week, a cow is ready. Sheep are like once a week or once every ten days they can actually be harvested. And for the sheep festival they have to have their wool. Which means you either need to keep track of when they're ready, or you need to leave them alone for like an entire week leading up to the festival. Which naturally is annoying as shit. Look at this. This is more room than I will ever need for these hens. This is a ridiculous waste of space. The good news is, though, now I can grow two at a time. No, we're just going to get this done right now. Hi, girls. By tomorrow, I should have, if not the money, at least the wood for the next upgrade. And I think my pineapples might come in tomorrow, so that means I'll have the money as well. And I'll probably get the house and the, um, the axe upgraded at the same time. Assuming I don't just skip it and go straight to Mistral. Of course, well, I already made my Golden Axe joke. Let's say, then I don't get to make my Golden Axe joke, but I already made my Golden Axe joke, so that's okay. You know what, we're gonna fit a flower run in here, because I need to get the Puri up to red. Because that's the thing, Ellie can be worked on three seasons of a year. Papuri is best done in summer. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go up to Mother Hill. i going to multitask. Go up to Mother Hill, get my stuff ready. Grab the flowers. Actually, I'm going to hit the spa real quick, too. Because I've got time. Because... Normally it takes so much time to do all this, but once I get back, because I'll, I'll chop the wood, I'll get the flowers, and I'll spend the rest of the time watering crops so that I won't miss my uh, payment window.
But again, uh, Summer 23 was Kai's birthday. If you had chosen Summer 23 as your birthday, he would, in shed. He would instead share his birthday with him. Which would make that day doubly frustrating. Get used to watching me make this circuit, because in wintertime, this is all I'm going to be doing. There is nothing to do in winter. To be fair, I could probably do all of winter in a single video, to the point where I'm almost tempted to do exactly that. Because until I get a hothouse, well, even when I do get a hothouse, there's nothing to do in winter. It's literally just coast on whatever money you have. Which, by the way, I just remembered I'm going to need a sizable chunk of money once I get the house, because the house opens up new upgrades. The upgrades for your kitchen, specifically. And I'm going to do a thing where uh, once I get the uh, upgrades, I'm going to look for all the recipes, like what requires a big fish, a little fish, and a medium fish. And I'm going to use little fish and medium fish as I catch them, because they're kind of a pain in the ass to get. And just kind of keep them in the fridge for those recipes so I can try and complete every recipe in the game. And again, on non-harvest days we're going to be doing a lot of flower runs because I want to get Papuri finished off before the end of summer. Because I just want to have time to enjoy the fact that all the girls are in love with us, you know? Now, while it's fine to do this in this Harvest Moon game, it's worth mentioning that in another one, A Wonderful Life for the GameCube, um, it's incredibly cruel to do this. Um, one of the girls is, uh, she was going to be part of an arranged marriage. And if she falls for you, she will break it off with her arranged marriage. And if you don't marry her, she will have broken off that marriage for nothing, which is exceedingly cool. And she takes that rather hard. There's another girl who's older than most girls in the game, but she's one of your romance options. And she has had a long history of just getting with guys that are not right, you know. And... If you get her to that point, and then don't go through with it with her, it just breaks her heart and she never recovers from it. No. So there is a point in later games, or at least in that later game, where enough is enough. You flirt with them, you be nice to them, you befriend them, and then you stop. Just to avoid being a complete jackass. Now, one of the things I like about Magical Melody, speaking of other Harvest Moon games, is the fact that there is a seeable meter for everyone in town to say, oh, this person's my friend, this person's a love interest. One of the things I don't like is for all the love interests in that game, and there are many, my personal favorite is not one of them. Well, my, one of my personal favorites, one of the girls from, uh, from A Wonderful Life was named Nami. And, uh, she is the weather girl in Magical Melody. And she comes in, I believe, in fall. 
and she is not a romance option, and it pisses me off because she was one of the romance options for the previous game. That being said, uh, there is a romance option in that game that I like even more. It's probably one of my favorites. Because she is just so fun and really cute. Anyway, while we probably will have enough to do, uh... To get a girl or more by the end of this year, we're probably not going to. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Dog. There's the dog. Hey, dog. Nope, no pineapples. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, good, my onions are up. Okay, we're gonna get to see what a hurricane looks like. Next episode. Oh, that is not the way to start. Oh, well. I got one good pineapple harvest up. Now, supposedly, the Harvest Sprites will take care of them, even though you never leave the house. Though the day after, they're always really pissed at me. So I'm actually going to see if that's real or not. I'm going to count how much feed I have at the start of the day, and then see how much I have at the end of the day. And if the numbers match up correctly, well, we're golden. Oh, yeah, I've got enough. Shit, I've got enough to get the house started. The hell did I harvest? Tomatoes. That's right, I did the tomatoes again. Well, this end of the field is done. This will not be harvested anymore. Because it really can't. Nothing I can do here. I don't really think you get rain at all in the autumn, which kind of sucks. I might almost be able to get enough wood to get the house today. Which would be fantastic. God, if the pineapples could have come in today, then that hurricane wouldn't do shit to me. You know? But... They can't, so it will. It's gonna hurt. And I'm just gonna have to live with it. Fortunately, I have time to make preparations. And it didn't happen the day after the fireworks festival, which would have sucked. I'm also going to check the corn, just in case.
gonna check something also. I don't think this is ready, but we're gonna check. Yeah, see, that is the wrong color to be ready. There is one good uh, silver lining about all this. Hurricane's gonna tear up a lot of these weeds. So, yay, nature. And thus, Popuri gives birth to every chicken from this game. So these will be Anne and Ellie that are coming up in the incubators. Okay, so anything else today that needs to be done? Shit! Oh, never mind, I'll just deal with it. I was about to say, I can't buy presents for the Harvest Bride, but fuck them. They've done work without gifts before, I'll make it up for them in the autumn. Gonna be close. Probably still gonna have to buy some of this wood. I think I might actually be able to get this started today. Shit, I missed. Twelve more. No flower run today. I was going to run one, but I decided not to. Actually, no, I should still have enough time. Never mind. It's right next to where I need to be. So. It's a little bit more. Two more swings and you're done for the day. Forty-seven. Am I going to have enough money for that and still get the place? Or should I just wait? Give me a second here. No, I'd come up short. So fuck it. We're gonna wait a day. We're gonna save some money and we're gonna wait a day. Well, technically we're gonna wait two days, but we're gonna save some money and we're gonna wait a couple days. I should start fall with a new house. And there's nothing wrong with that. Shit, shit, shit. God, I hope I make the sprites in time. I think they stay up until 6. Fuck it, we'll hit Papuri on the way back. She's real close, anyway. I mean, she is 
she's on the cusp. It'll take one, maybe two more flower runs, and she's out. As in, buy the, buy the final house, and get the blue feather, and pop the question kind of out. But, shit, I just realized something. Can I make this back and get the onion money? I don't think I'm going to get that onion money. Shit. Damn it, Papuri, you've cost me again. No. No, I'm not. Work. Oh, you fuckers. You assholes. If I miss that onion money, I'm going to scream. I'm going to miss that onion money. All that money down the fucking pisser. For what? Sprites that aren't even going to do a goddamn thing for me. Yup, I lost it all. All that work. Fucking nothing. Jesus fucking Christ. Shit. I'm almost at a feed, too. Realize that. Well. <sighs> Fuck it. The animals will have to get over it, and so will the crops. I'm Kyrix, and this has been the end to what started off as a very good video. This has been Let's Play Harvest Moon Back to Nature, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.